Hello and welcome to the Business Math Course BA 104. Uh, I am Darren Bell. I'm going to be the instructor for the course and this is an intro video to help you understand the pieces you need to have to be successful in the course. So let's go ahead and get started. We're here on Canvas and we are looking at uh, the main Canvas home. We're going to go ahead and begin with the start here button. So that's a good place to start. So as you work through the start here button, that's what you need to do to begin with, right? So as you need to get into this module and go ahead and uh, go through the, the next buttons, right? So navigate through that. It's gonna have the new video here I'm, that I'm making uh, right now. I'm updating the video for this course. And um, we're gonna talk about uh, first the textbook. Right? So you're going to be able to get into the textbook. One thing you need to know about the textbook for this course is uh, you have options. So you're ha you have the ability to um, have a hard copy textbook and the uh, what's called the connect um, uh, code to get into the connect tool. Right. So there's a tool. It's called connect. It's through McGraw-Hill. It's going to be where we're going to do the homework and the uh, the assignments, right, and the quizzes and exams is all going to be in Connect, so you need to get that. Now the option is you don't necessarily need the hard copy book. If if you want to just go with the ebook and the Connect code, then that's a little a little less expensive, and you can do that option as well. You just got to know your own study habits whether you're going to need that hard copy book, if that works good for you or not. Okay, so. So this is where you go, and you're gonna you're gonna be able to sign up for that um, Connect uh, account right through this link here, and you're gonna be able to go in um, and do the assignments and the quizzes and the exams and everything once you get signed up with Connect. Uh, you can use a, a two-week, 14-day free uh, login to this at the very beginning if you want to just get started with the course and then figure out um, buying the the code in the book afterwards within the first two weeks of the course of course you can go to the bookstore and get this code you can also get the code right through this link and it'll you can buy it online with a um, with a debit or credit card so anyways so that's the textbook it'll be it'll be a good one there's lots of resources with it Okay, so for this course, um, this is one of the changes that we've had because of um, the different uh, changes that have happened over the last couple of years. We're using a, uh, we're doing at-home testing, right? We're using something called Proctorio. This is not the um, lockdown browser. This is a different setup that's through the uh, Connect product, right? It's called Proctorio. You don't have to um, actually download any extra software with this one but it's good to take the uh, practice exam up front just to make sure you can uh, get Proctorio set up and that you uh, understand how it works so there is some um, monitoring software that comes but you're going to be taking the, the these exams at home for online students for live students um, you're going to have the option to take them in class as well so Here's some uh, course resources. Um, the, there's three things here, of course. The first one is the course handbook. That's a PDF that I downloaded and put in there for you. It's going to be useful for you. It has some of the uh, expanded tables and different uh, factors that you're going to be using for some of the homework problems. Uh, and it'll help you just get them done in a more efficient, effective way. There's also a course resource page that's through the textbook publisher and then there is of course um, office hours that's also on um, another link that I'll show you later uh, here at the very end you're gonna have a welcome quiz so this is the end of the getting started module so go ahead and take that quiz and that's you'll be off to a good start we're gonna go back to the home page and we're gonna talk a little bit about the structure of the course so that we're gonna click on the middle a green link here it's called coursework so the coursework here so you're you've already done the getting started 
module, right? If you do what we just walked through and take the quiz, you'll have that the first part done. Um, we are going to have, I'll, I'll leave some of the class recordings and things open. Um, if you ever want to talk to me, feel free, we can do it over Zoom, right? We can, we can definitely Zoom and do that. I also have live class hours as, or um, office hours as well, and I'll show you where those are posted. Okay, so uh, as, as we get going with the course, one thing um, to note is we're actually going to start on chapter 11 of the textbook. So we're gonna start pretty much halfway through the, the textbook. A lot of the f uh, beginning chapters are uh, really um, not challenging enough for college students, right? So there is a prereq for this course. And so we're gonna start with chapter 11. We're gonna dive right into those applied business math uh, skills. And so um, chapter 11, the idea with this is we have, we have it outlined here um, by chapter, the idea is you should be able to do one chapter per week for the course. That's how it's laid out. So one chapter per week is the goal. Um, although the uh, assignments and, and everything uh, do not have due dates on them, right? So there's no due dates on the course. The only due date that you'll see here uh, listed is the end of the term. So December 10th is listed on all these. That's the last day of the term. Um, but really the goal is to manage your own uh, time and to get done at least one chapter a week. That gives you the opportunity to uh, go ahead if you want to, right? If you're going a little quicker than the, the one chapter pace, that's totally fine. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, take the exams early in that case. The exams are on a prerequisite structure. So you have to have the chapters done before you can take the exam. Uh, but as soon as you get the chapters done, you can you can go ahead and do the exam. Um, same thing for those that may, uh, if there's a chapter that takes a little longer, you can take a little longer to do it, right? You just have to kind of manage overall knowing that you've got the term um, as the time limit there, okay? So go ahead and manage your time. Um, if there's any questions on that, just let me know. Um, one other thing that I have you do with this um, course, because especially for those students that are taking it online, right? This uh, piece that I've built into it is called the weekly effort journal. So that's down here at the bottom of every week. Uh, that is due, there's a due date for that. That's due every Sunday. Those are easy points, right? So that's about 10% of your grade. And all you have to do is go into these effort journals and you have to uh, answer the questions that are in the journal, right? So I'll go ahead and go into the first one here. You'll see here, you, you and I are the only ones that will be able to see your journal. So your other classmates won't be able to see this. It's just between you and I. Um, but these are the questions right here, right? I'm, I'm just need to know if you're engaged in the class, what you're doing, if what's going well, what's not going well. So that's 10% of the class is just doing the effort journals every by the end of every week. So Sunday midnight. So this first week, um, uh, it's going to be due at the end of the week um, for you. So that's there's 10 of them to do. Okay, so that's the the weekly effort journal. Let's go ahead and go back home. Um, something that you're gonna uh, that'll be useful as well is go into the second link down from the home on the left here. Go to syllabus. There is a syllabus link so you can view the syllabus there, the grading structure and everything for the class, uh, learning objectives. Also, the course schedule is listed there as well. Pretty much just lists. Um, since if we're, we're doing online class, there's really not a lot of, um, you know, you're not going to be impacted by campus closures or anything. Uh, but if you, this is an, if you're a, in a live class, then make sure to keep that schedule handy and, and know when uh, class is going to be held and when it's not. It also gives you an idea as you scroll down here when the journals are due. They're all up front here. Um, and then everything else is listed afterwards, of course, because it's due at the end of the term. So that's on the syllabus. Going back home, on the home page for Canvas, just one other thing that I would um, 
draw your attention to is, and that's the next green button over here it's called Mr. Bell that is all my contact information so my office hours are on the blue link here um, email phone number my um, office location it's actually I'll update that so you'll have that updated on your um, I'm still in Barber Hall but I'm currently in 101 a is my current office and so feel free if you have any questions any if you want to meet with me uh, we can do it via zoom or we can meet in person we can talk over the phone we can send emails back and forth uh, one of the things that I tell students is definitely do not suffer uh, in silence right so if you run into a problem or something uh, let me know right let me know as soon as possible and I'll do everything I can to help you out so I'm glad to have you in the course and we will hopefully talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.